Fox News host Sean Hannity sat down with President Donald Trump on Thursday following the abrupt end to Trump summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. While the pair discussed North Korea and the president's decision to walk away from further talks with Kim, Hannity also brought up the testimony of Trump's former attorney and fixer Michael Cohen to members of Congress on Wednesday. Trump said that Cohen is a liar with a lot of problems and that despite all the lies, Cohen confirmed in his testimony that there was no collusion with Russia. Trump went on to call the investigation a hoax and a witch hunt that shouldn't happen to another president before adding that he thinks he is the most successful president with two years in office. Hannity responded by saying that he had interviewed Cohen many times over the years and that the lawyer was never his personal attorney. However, one of Cohen's lawyers, Stephen Ryan, identified the Fox News host as Cohen's third legal client after his home, office and safe deposit box were raided by the FBI in April 2018. Hannity has dismissed the allegations various times, stating that while he sought legal advice from Cohen, he never paid any fees and Cohen never represented him in any legal matters. Hannity's claim sparked several reactions on Twitter, including from Mimi Rocca, a former federal prosecutor for the Southern District of New York and current legal analyst for NBC News and MSNBC, who retweeted Hannity's statement to Trump from Wall Street Journal reporter Rebecca Ballos. While House Democrats have announced intentions to open more investigations into Trump, including the president's finances and the Trump Organization, after listening to Cohen's testimony, many legal experts have said that the ongoing investigation by the Southern District of New York could prove more damaging to the president than Robert Mueller's ongoing probe. Alan Weisselberg, chief financial officer for the Trump Organization, is expected to be called to testify in front of the House Intelligence Committee. Weisselberg has already been granted immunity by the SDNY and is working with prosecutors in that investigation. Weisselberg began working with federal authorities last year regarding hush money payments that Cohen made to two women who claimed to have had affairs with Trump prior to his election to the White House. Cohen repeatedly listed Weisselberg as a co-conspirator in alleged crimes during his testimony on Wednesday. Trump has repeatedly denied knowing that Cohen made payments, including during Thursday's interview with Hannity. However, Cohen presented two checks during his testimony, one from Trump's personal account which was signed by the president and one from the Trump Organization, signed by Trump's son, Donald Trump Jr. And Weisselberg stating that the checks were reimbursements for the payments Cohen made to keep the two women quiet about the alleged affairs. However, it is unclear if Trump, Donald Trump Jr., or Weisselberg were aware of what the checks were written for. The SDNY's investigation, according to CNN, also involves Trump's inauguration committee and potential crimes of wire fraud, money laundering, mail fraud and conspiracy against the U. S. Among other allegations, 